Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now. Clay can be the most demanding and unpredictable surfaces of the Grand Slams. Winning on clay demands the stamina of a marathoner, the balance of a skater, the concentration of a chess master, and the grit of a fighter. Today, we're going to honor the men who have mastered the demands of dirt. Yvonne Lindell, Jim Courier, and Sergei Bruguera each won multiple Roland Garros titles and are tremendous champions, along with Thomas Muster, who won 40 clay court crowns. However, these players didn't even crack our top five. So you can imagine, our top five make up a very elite group of guys. So with that in mind, here are our picks for the top five clay court champions of the Open Era. Launching our list at number five is one of the most beloved clay champions of all time, Brazil's Gustavo Curtin. In the Open Era, only Rafa Nadal and Bjorn Borg won more Roland Garros titles than three-time champion Guga. Curtin was ranked number 66 when he burst onto the scene with a flourish, beating three former French Open champions to capture his first career title at the 1997 Roland Garros. He gave his trophy and every other trophy he ever won in his life to his biggest fan, his younger brother, who suffered from cerebral palsy and severe physical disability and who Guga says was his inspiration. Guga's brother passed away in 2007. So how great was Guga? He was the first South American man to hold the ATP year-end number one ranking. He had one of the best one-handed backhands of his era and a big serve too. Curtin owns French Open victories over then world number one Roger Federer and several other former Roland Garros champions. That's an amazing feat and it makes you wonder how Guga would have matched up against Rafa Nadal today. After all, Guga stands six foot three, has a very wide wingspan and that fantastic one-handed backhand. Here's vintage Guga closing his 1997 Roland Garros upset of Thomas Muster in five sets. Guga gave his heart to Paris. After capturing his third Roland Garros title in 2001, Curtin showed his appreciation to French fans, tracing a heart on the court and laying down in a heartfelt gesture of thanks. Sadly, we'll never know what a healthy Curtin could have achieved on dirt and elsewhere for that matter. Hip surgeries ultimately forced him out of the game, but he gave us some magical memories and was inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame in 2012. Our number four champion made a lasting impression in his first French Open appearance. A then 17-year-old Mats Wielander won his Roland Garros debut in 1982, defeating former French Open champion Guillermo Villas in a marathon match that included an eye-popping 90-stroke rally. Villas says Mats' mind was one of the best weapons in the game. Wielander grew up idolizing fellow Swede Bjorn Borg. The three-time Roland Garros champion did something even his hero didn't achieve. In 1988, Mats won three of the four Grand Slams in a masterpiece season, winning the Australian Open, French Open, and he made history as the first Swede to win the US Open Championship. At that time, the Australian Open was on grass, making Mats the second man in the Open era after Jimmy Connors to win Grand Slam titles on grass, clay, and on hard court. But clay is where he thrived. His unerring baseline style and unbreakable concentration make him one of the greatest clay court champions of all time. In his 15-year career, Mats won 33 career singles titles and was enshrined in the Hall of Fame in 2002. Today, you can hire Mats to coach you in your own backyard. He now runs We Launder on Wheels, traveling the country in an RV camper where he conducts clinics teaching the game he loves. And I've actually participated in one of those clinics at the GTAC in Houston, Texas, and it was a fantastic couple of days along with his partner, Cameron. Decades before Rafa Nadal rose to prominence, another left-hander nicknamed the Bull was a clay court master. At number three, Argentinian legend Guillermo Vilas, who shares the open era record with Rafa for most career clay court titles with 49. Vilas's lone Roland Garros title came in 1977, primarily because he played in the same era as one of the greatest champions of all time, Bjorn Borg. But his strength, stamina, and a wicked topspin made Guillermo a force. Vilas was a baseliner who developed an all-court game. 
He could even take the net away from players like John McEnroe. One of Guillermo's greatest clay court wins came in the 1977 U.S. Open Final, where he dethroned Jimmy Connors. That victory set off a flood of fans rushing the court to carry the champion on their shoulders. The Hall of Famer owns the all-time record for most clay court wins with 644 victories on dirt, including a 57-match winning streak. Up next, he is number two on our list of clay court champions, but in his prime, Bjorn Borg was second to none. Bjorn grew up playing ping pong before tennis, which is where he developed the tremendous topspin strokes that made him a lethal champion. One of the fittest and fastest men to ever play the game, Borg's six Roland Garros championships are second only to Rafa Nadal. The Swedish Iceman never lost a French Open final. In fact, only one man, Adriano Panada, ever beat Borg at Roland Garros, where he holds an astounding 96% winning percentage. The 11-time Grand Slam champion says he prefers living the quiet life these days, though occasionally Bjorn and his wife will visit the tournaments. Decades removed from his Roland Garros reign, Bjorn Borg remains a huge presence undercover in his native Sweden. Okay, in any discussion of red clay royalty, there is only one monarch. The King of Clay, Rafa Nadal, tops our list as the greatest clay court champion of them all. The nine-time Roland Garros champion equaled Velas' open era record of 49 clay court championships when he beat Kei Nishikori to win his ninth Barcelona title. 49 of Rafa's 69 career titles have come on his favorite surface. That came a week after Rafa regained his Monte Carlo crown by defeating Gil Monfils for his ninth title in the Principality. Rafa has earned the respect of his fellow champions who hold him in the highest regard. After winning Barcelona, Rafa raised his clay court career record to a mind-blowing 358 and 32 mark, which is an astounding winning percentage on clay. That's another reason why there is only one king. That's our top five list. Now it's your turn. Who tops your list of the best clay court players? I'm Grace Carter. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.